you could be a role model. You just choose not to. You literally day in and day out, you choose not to. There's not a day goes by where I don't feel guilty about something, where I don't feel ashamed of something. He had drank so much, he fell into one of my uh, daughter's beds. He was stone drunk. And at that point, I was so afraid I was going to lose my children. And I, I, you can't delete you can't delete the internet, right? Once something's out there, you can't delete it. It's, it's called Daddy Dearest, and it's about a father who keeps his daughter in the basement to be his... Slave. There's enough shit to actually hate me for, and this is this is a thing to hate me for, right? Fill the room with the juice. That's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yes, she kind of cute. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night. As you can see, I normally don't look like this. So if you are brand new here, hello. My name is Pearl. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to Trisha Paytas. Why I deleted 1,300 old videos, which literally just was uploaded, like, I think less than two hours hours ago which ironically was uploaded onto her Trisha Paytas I don't even know what to even call her other account basically Trisha has two accounts obviously on YouTube but that account has like what over 5 million this one only has 1.48 million so I was like okay let me read the comments of course the comments are off uh, of course wow how, how could I be surprised I, I don't know but I am let's go ahead and get in this it's about 20 minutes long go ahead and grab you a snack I have my quest bar here because I need to make sure that I get to my level of protein which basically after this video i'm probably gonna end up eating pancakes child i'm struggling right now anyway let's get in this and see what miss trisha has to say hey guys um hey girl i i you know i can't really go online right now and look at comments or um I, I turn off comments on TikTok. I'll probably turn off comments on this video. Um, I I deleted it, it, you know, and it's almost like I can't escape it because, you know, I get emails. The freaking insider emailed me and was like, if you want to comment on why you deleted 1,300 videos, and everyone's like, she deleted 1,300 videos. Like, what are they trying to hide? Like, girl. And um, I, just, I, I briefly saw it. I had to skim past because I, like, I felt physically sick about it. Um, Courtney Stodden, who I've um, interviewed and met and, um, you know, talked to a person before or just shared time with before. Um, posted something, and it's an old clip. I deleted 13, the insider told me 1,300 videos or something like that um, from my main channel and a lot from this channel. And um, I want to scream. Courtney wow. Stott and I saw posted a video, one of those videos why? from literally probably 12 years ago. Say why. Uh, I was doing a parody of them. Um, Bro. I mean, I was 20, 23. I mean, I stupid I mean and I, I couldn't even read the caption because I just felt physically sick I read like a little and just saw that it was not good something of I, I saw again I was with someone else and they just said you know she they just posted this and um videos first of all I feel awful I feel awful I feel awful about all those videos when I was deleting them I felt sick to my stomach that I had them up there this long like I was you know and people downloaded them and reposting old videos and oh Trisha did this and they did that and you know they're all awful they're all there's there's a lot of disgusting things but the one thing I was adamant about when talking about other people, which, you know, I've, I've learned like the biggest lesson through all this is to like mind my own business. Valid. <laughs> I know nothing about other people's lives. I don't know what they're going through. Like mind my own business. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm thankful for that lesson. Cause like, I feel that I do. Um, I do. 
Um, Girl, not high. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But one thing I was always, I have been adamant about at least the past years, like I, I never like bringing up stuff from way back in people's past, right? Like if you're, if you're doing a videos from nine years ago, like everyone that's on the internet still nine years ago was saying awful things online. Like, nine years ago, honey, you said that 31. It's, it's called Daddy Dearest and it's about a father who keeps his daughter in the basement to be his slave but the twist is people said people just said whatever they wanted online no you, consequences you no said it at 31 questions thinking they're edgy or funny 31 i was doing a parody i wasn't okay you know i wasn't i wasn't trying to be hateful even though i was like a hateful person back then and i feel like i had a lot of hate in me for a long time girl we gonna and, get into that um, in the next video like, let me tell I'm, you i'm working on like truly letting that go because like it really does make you an ugly person and i've i've been on the receiving end Stay on tuned. it and I've done it, you know i've also spewed out hate towards people and it's like it really sucks like it really does it really sucks and i feel i feel i feel awful there's no amount of guilt and like sickness i get when those videos get brought up you know people save them and download them and now are like well they did this then and they did this then and there's you know 31 again i thought i was being funny or edgy and i feel bad and i i just and even in deleting those videos, it's not enough for people. You have to address it. I've have, I've have apologized for so many things, and I'll continue to like. A lot of my old videos are just like not. They're just not a reflection of who I was even then. I remember doing videos then to just get any sort of attention. I, any attention was good attention. I just needed money, and I just would say and do literally whatever. I said so many things that I don't even agree with that I would just. You know, and I know I'm paying the price for it now, and like I, I totally accept it. I'm not, there's no cop out, but I really do feel like I need to address this. And I know addressing this still won't be enough for some people. And that's why at the end of the day, like you, that's why some people just don't address it because it'll, it'll never be enough for some people. But for the people who still care and still like watch me and like have been here through so much with me, like I feel like I owe it to those people. Like that, like there's, there's, I experience guilt on. A daily basis there's not a day goes by where i don't feel guilty about something where i don't feel ashamed of something and I, I you can't delete you can't delete the internet right once something's out there you can't delete it and that sucks but like i feel like deleting videos like sh like instead of being like well at least it's a step in the right direction of like stop spreading more hate or you know taking out something that runs represented you know that once I once was me and it's no longer me. Like, I, I, I thought that was like a step in the right dis direction, but instead it's just met with. Subjective. Um, it's subjective. She's, she's hiding something and it's like. It's subjective. That's just not who I am. It's, it's not that what I agree with. Subjective. It's not who I am. I just. It's embarrassing and I am like, I'm, I'm ashamed. I'm so ashamed. It feels weird to not post. As often as I used to. I mean, obviously, I'm still posting. Mm -hmm. Obviously. But it feels like every day, it feels like the sick feeling in my stomach, and it just is like. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, imagine what you're going to think on your deathbed. I think about that a lot. I am so sorry for past videos that I've let people down. Like I, I've been a shit person in the past, like real shit person. And and there's nothing I can do to change my past. And I really. I really don't know where to go with this, actually. I guess just to answer the question, I, know I deleted those videos. I guess you could say I was hiding, like I'm hiding that person that I was, this ignorant, dumb bitch from, you know, a lot of people think, ask, or want to know, like, why I have animosity towards my hometown and where I grew up. I you know I feel I was so sheltered, and I don't know. I mean, maybe it's no one's fault, right? It's a small town, and everyone's kind of the same vibes and stuff, and they don't educate you on diversity and it was a different time and all this stuff like that. And 
like I was really ignorant. I was really dumb and like really insecure and really, really hateful. 31. Um, and I, I'm so sorry if any of those past videos people are up are of hurting anybody. Like, I, I wish I could take it back. I did my best to delete them, <clears throat> and I uh, am addressing it now. I'm so sorry if. I'm so sorry, but. Can we get rid of that? I'm so sorry if. I'm so sorry, but. Let's just, let's get rid of that. Collectively. There's just so many, and it's just like I deleted them for a reason. I wanted them wiped from my image because which, that's not what I think or feel. Which is impossible, not what I actually. For anymore. Which is wild, but it's not. And to be, if I'm being honest, it's not at the time. Again, I did that as satire, as parody. There was, you know, a, a, like an SNL skit making fun of somebody, and it's, I'm not Saturday Night Live. Girl, you think you could be on SNL? I don't think so. I don't know what I'm Not an easy gig to get. Saying. You know, the past few weeks has just been like one thing after the other, just finding every way to drag me down, and some things just are so wrong and so full of lies and just like unwarranted, just like hate. But this is warranted. This is warranted, right? This is something that this actually affects me, right? Because it it's something my past. It's videos I made, and there's some. Mm. Like it's, there's there is no escaping that. There it's out there. It's just mm -hmm. like I just. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Like, honestly, it's like when people say stuff that's just like not true or they try and tell they try to rewrite my history and say, this didn't happen. You have to apologize for this or this. What it's like stuff that actually happened to me. I don't care. Whatever. If, if people are going to like, I know my truth on that. Right. Mm -hmm. But like this kind of stuff, which is just hard facts, just. I made poor comedy choices. I made poor ethical choices. Is it made or make, though? I think it's still make. It just sucks. It's and not, I, I don't think it's made. I think the pit in my stomach really came from Courtney, who I really I really love them. Like I really I really do. They were kind enough to come on my podcast and you know like that sucks because I just know I just know like from that place, like, I would never, like, have them on my podcast if I, like, hated that person. And I just, again, I couldn't even read it. It just made me sick to my stomach. And I just keep seeing, like, these old clips. Resurface of just skits I've done and stuff that just missed the mark. But, like... And, um... What about OnlyFans with with your so sister sorry. and your mom? Did you delete that or? I, I'm just so sorry. And so, like, just so embarrassed. I'm just so embarrassed about those. Like I said, if there's something that I messed up on, it's this and I, I own it. Like, I can take people hating on me. Oh. Of something that just doesn't exist in the real world that just some people may if you just make, like, hate on me for something that doesn't that's not even real okay fine but this is something that like, i did like it this is this is the cancellation part that 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 i do take to heart because it is something that i that i, I screwed up But I didn't know what else to do. I deleted the videos. You know, I deleted, it's almost like it was like a billion views worth of views. It's like, it's just not me. And it's nothing I stand by or stand for. Did you save them before you deleted them though? I'm just curious. And it makes me so physically sick. Like, truly.
and again, I am apologizing to people who do care for people who are gonna hate Sour Crummy enough, and I, I, I honestly like don't care. If, you know, Courtney's sad, and I'm so sorry. Like, you know, again, my intention was to be parody, and that was twelve years ago, whatever, and. You know, they've gotten so much hate, for, uh, very unwarranted, you know. <sighs> this is what I'm saying. There's, like, enough shit to, like, actually hate me for. There is enough shit in my past. That to make up stuff is like, what's the point? Like, you know, to rewrite history, to make me out to, you know, all this stuff. Like, like you know, there's enough shit to actually hate me for. And this is, this is a thing to hate me for, right? Like people making up stuff or saying like, oh my God, apologize to the first person. You know, people are telling me to apologize to people who have harassed me. People are telling me to apologize to people who have abused me. People have told me to apologize to people who have like literally ruined my life. Oh, apologize to the person, this person. Not knowing the full story of so many situations. And that is, like, so fucking hard to deal with. You know, again, I've been shit. I've been shit to a lot of people. I get it. And I and then that alone I have to deal with. But now having to deal with, like, people saying, apologize to this or this person or you need to talk to this person. Like, people who've harassed me, lied on me, abused me. Like, all this stuff like that is just, like, it's just, it, there's, and there's really no winning because people can make up whatever they want about you. They like I, people can make up anything they want about me. Anything people say now in a title is true, and that'll follow me around forever. And it's so fucking scary. Just edit out the dead air. Damn. Like, you just want us to just... There's nothing I can do about my past. Like, there's nothing. And, you know, you have every right... Everyone has every right to think of me as shit for the rest of my life because of the shit things I do. Like, but for anybody who can, like, forgive me of that. Like, past, which I know there's a lot because, look, my videos have come out to bite me in the ass before. And I, I've done... Thousands, I don't know. I don't know how many, 5,000 videos? Mm. I've done thousands and thousands of videos and they will always be, and they'll always be out there. And I'm just, I don't even, I don't even want the views. I don't even want any of that on my channel. Like I said, this has definitely been, like, the roughest, the roughest people have been on me. And like I said, I think some, some warranted and some totally unwarranted. And to and that also takes a toll because I'm like, wow, you can literally be canceled for something that's, that's true. But people are taught, saying it's not true just to, make, like, to paint you in every way. Doesn't matter say when. Say something's not true, something horrific that happened. It outweighs. In my life, to say it's not true and then you get canceled for that. Like I'm try I try my best to put on a, like a happy face every morning and I try my best to do affirmations and let go of things I can't control and but as far as far as hurting people like intentionally or unintentionally like it sucks it mm. sucks that I hurt so many people with so many of my videos it's just you're hurting yourself every single day by the decisions that you make whether that's with your health your relationship, the way you maneuver your relationships, you hurt yourself every single day to the point where honestly, a regular person probably couldn't even fathom hurting themselves that much subconsciously without realizing it. And then you expect to not hurt others? No, you're gonna hurt others. You're gonna hurt others because you hurt yourself every single day. Even me, I 
am still working through that. I am not good at maintaining friendships at all. I'll be the first person to say that openly. I suck at maintaining friendships. But girl, like I said, five years, working out, single, taking care of yourself, meditating. What Trisha would we get? He sucks. What Trisha? Even this past year doing the podcast, you know, I I feel like my 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 personal, you know, my I started attacking people and it just It's I'm the journey. last person that needs to be doing that. Like, you know, it's another, a you know, it's good. It's a blessing in disguise. Like, of course, I love doing the podcast and being loved and all this stuff and being loved and all this stuff and being loved and all this stuff. And it was fun and whatever. But it was a blessing in disguise because, like, I'm the last person that needs to be pointing fingers at anybody. Notice how she says and being loved and stuff. That's how she correlates the H3 podcast being loved and stuff while she fidgets and looks down into her lap. And that is why she thinks that the hate is due to the H3 podcast. It is not. It is not. H3 podcast came in to, if anything, rebuild your reputation. You went in delusional thinking that your reputation was already built. My, I am so clouded. And that's why I was so scared to talk about anyone's past or bring up past tweets or things from years ago because my history and my stuff to be brought up is so rich and so dark. I was always scared of this and I kept those videos up for way too long. And like truly the only thing I can do besides apologize is like, is just show, just show that right. like- where's the action? Or try my best. <laughs> Something to change. Something. I know I will never be commentating on anyone's life ever again. YouTuber, celebrity, like in any negative fashion. Not even in my real life. Not even my personal life. Like you could be a role model. You just choose not to. You literally day in and day out, you choose not to. Like I said, I'm thankful for this because, like I, like it's, it's taught me like a really like again as far as like being. Harassed for stuff in my past, harassed for stuff that happened, and people were just telling me it didn't. As far as my psycho, my psychology, my what, mental state. What was that that you cut out there, girl? Ugh. You know, I just went to therapy, and it's like I'm, I see. I I obviously doubled that because being on the verge of a mental breakdown, like every single day, it's like I can I try my best. You know, life goes, life moves on. Um. so hot and you turn it around i'm just i'm so sorry and i feel i feel i feel so so gross and i and i and i accept it i accept all of this and and um no one has to forgive me and everyone has the right to feel upset and hurt by me and i hope in time that'll change and i hope Anyone knows that like things I did were for money, for attention, and it really like it. It wasn't really. It was never to hurt. I I never thought anybody would see my videos, and also I didn't think anyone would care. And again, being on this end now, it's like for a while. It's like I feel I know it now, but. If you're sorry, why are you uploading this here and not on all of your platforms? Why are the comments off? I have no words. Girl, 20 minutes. Why I deleted 1,300 old videos and 
you can't even look in the camera and say, I'm sorry. That is a sentence. You know that, right? Do people know that I'm sorry is a sentence? Just that alone. I'm sorry. Sentence right there. You don't have to add if, but, nothing. There, there doesn't even need to be an explanation. Like, you, literally, that's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. And for me, it's like... You edited this, purposely left in gaps of time and what, sadness, sympathy, whatever you want the audience to feel because there's literally nothing being said other than just... And you staring into the space. I... I'm sorry. This is another calculated video for me. I'm gonna start rating these videos on a scale of one to ten on the calculation meter for trisha paytas this one is hitting an 8.5 for me i'm so sorry extremely calculated um okay you're gonna come back that's that's where we're at that's that's what i'm getting but you're gonna come back you want to come back it's gonna happen you're gonna figure it out and that's that i mean think about if shane dawson was just coming back and forth with videos like this There's just a time where you just really shouldn't say a lot. You should just kind of disappear. Kind of like how you told everybody that David should disappear and be deplatformed. Should have no forgiveness at all, right? What, why are you different? I can't help but think it's the blonde hair and blue eyes. I don't know about y'all. I'm out. I can't. I, I literally have no other words to say. Let me know what you thought about this reaction. Let me know what you thought about this video. Please, please do because her comments are off. So I have to go to other videos that talk about this video to even see what people think. And you know that very much well as well. So let me know what you think. I will see y'all all in my next video. If you're new here and you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please do not smash, just gently tap. And we're out because, yo, I literally... And just think if she was black, bro. <laughs> just think if Trisha Paytas and Jackie Ina switched, just like, j just imagine. This world is funny and sad. Put out the coop in the lot, 12 for 12 for squat, busting all the bells out the box, hit the lift.